Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and we are live. We should be live. That is, if everything functions. I think it does. I see everything going up and down that should go up and down, so that means we have sound. Um, I see people coming in, so that's a good thing. Hello Inge, Carla, hi Angela, hi Hans, Dineke is here, Angelique, Ella. Good evening everybody. Um, good to see you all. We are going to have some fun tonight, at least I think so. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give people some time to come in. Hi Ingrid. So uh, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fine and having fun. I'm looking at the comments. Uh, people are slowly but surely coming in. So yeah, good to see you all. And yeah, Inga, I saw you were really on time. Uh, I saw that. Hi Marianne. So yeah, tonight is going to be um, uh, something different than the prompts because I've, pff, uh, no, I'm not fed up with the prompts, but hey, every, doing one every day, that's quite a chore and uh, I, I'm pretty impressed with everybody that's doing it. Um, mind you, I've said that, uh, I am doing a prompt tonight, the last prompt of the year, which also sounds weird because we're in the middle of doing prompts. Are you still with me? I'm confused. But anyway, we're not doing the December prompts tonight, we're doing the prompts for the whole year and the prompt for this month was embossing powder um, so and I was really thinking about this one because there's so much you can do with embossing powders and I was like I don't want to do something uh, standard so and then I was watching a video of a lady called uh, uh, Lou Lou uh, Lou 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 well her name is Lou um, and she did a fantastic um, uh, technique with embossing powder. And I just thought, I've got to do this for my December prompt, embossing powder. And I, of course, need to share it with you guys. So um, Lou Collins, that was her name. That took a while, but it came up. It came up. So Lou Collins, uh, all credits go to her. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you're way on time, different time, just chatting away. Hi, Sandra. Hello, back to England. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of the Eurovision Song Contest. This is London calling. <laughs> um, so, well, I think uh, lots of people are coming in already. So let's uh, get this party started, shall we? So let's switch the cameras around. There we go. This is the workstation. Let's put the mouse in a safe spot, shall we? Before I click something that we shouldn't. And then I'll get my journal out because this journal, it's quite chunky is the journal where I made all the prompts for 2023. Hey, Anita! Leuk dat je meekijkt. Um, these were all the prompts from 2023. I won't do a flip through now. I will do a separate video of that. But this is quite chunky as it is already. But look at last year's. I've got last year's here as well. This one is massive, mainly because of December. Because then uh, I saw a video from Margaret from Seven Plaza and she did uh, this fun Christmas tree idea. And I just had to do that in my journal. Um, but that, of course, made it very bulky. But it was the last month and I knew I could fit it in. So, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with myself, I must say, because I've done two years in a row completed uh, December journals. So we're going to do December. And that's going to be right here in the back. Um, and then this one will be finished as well. Uh, I still want to alter this uh, um, TN because I don't like green, but okay, that's me. Uh, I don't know what to do yet. So, um, what am I going to do? Really something fun. I think it's really fun. And the main star of the show is going to be this. The Wow Clear Embossing Powder. Plus something that I believe is um, every household has got that. And that is cotton balls. Um, and what you do is you just peel that apart so that it's flat. Uh, and then we're going to do something fun with it. I've got a load more here. Uh, so yeah, you just make it all messy and fun. So that's going to be the star of the show. Then I've got, where did I put that? I've lost everything again. I just had it. Here we go. How the eye is. It's uh, still red. Um, I don't know. Nothing... It's not getting worse, and it's not uh, going away as well. So, um, what I'm going to do, I've already made my label, the December one. 
um, December 23 uh, with embossing powder because that is the prompt. Well, Mina, that's the, the thing. Uh, some people like green. I like green. I just, I don't know. I have something about that journal, but, but never mind. Um, wow embossing pad, which is just a sticky embossing ink. Like Versa Mark or the Dina Wakely, not Dina Wakely, what's it called? Uh, the Dilutions one, uh, it's fairly, it's all in embossing ink. However, I do like the Wow because it stays wet a bit longer. Um, so that is uh, 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 why I like the Wow embossing powders. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap that on there, just smash it. And then I'll have a look, is it shiny or not? Ah. There we go. So that's easy, right? Everybody can do that. It is sticky because there's something sticking to it. Um, I see something on Facebook from Inga Baumann that she doesn't see any comments, but I'm not sure she's in, they're not on Facebook, the comments. They are here on YouTube. Um, okay, that's that. So next I'm going to take my embossing powder and I'm going to cover that up. Let me show you. This is what we're going to make. And it's really nice. I don't know if you can see the texture uh, because I had to test it out, of course. But this is very soft and, ooh, I love this. But we're going to use different colors. This was just a test piece for me, but that's sort of where we're going with this just so you have an idea. Okay, let's cover this up with embossing powder. I think I've got ink sort of everywhere, which Oh, we'll see. We'll see. White on white on white. It's a lot of white. <laughs> Hi Inge, welcome. Fijn dat het is gelukt. So, um, I'm going to take this little thingy because this will be hot. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm going to leave it as is. That's why I've got this craft sheet on here because that's heat resistant. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in portions. And I'm sorry for the noise. This is going to be noisy, guys. And I'm going to start melting this. I've got to keep a close eye because as soon as it's starting to get shiny, I'm going to take this cotton ball. And stick it on there. So, be careful you don't burn your fingers if you want to do this. Just press that in there. Hot, hot, hot. Absolutely, Santa's beard will be... Uh, you can do all sorts of things with this. So, I just keep going with it. Hi Astrid, goedenavond.
hop, hop. Okay. So, next I'm coming in and I'm going to use my sheet to press this down. Press this down and press it down. There we go. Next I'm going to heat it again from the back because I really want that to be sticky. And press it down again and be careful because it is hot. Hi Joke, goedenavond. So, pressing this down. Just having fun, fairly. That's what we're doing. Okay. Next I'm gonna see. Um, oh, that's fine. Really let that cool down. And then I'm gonna peel off the big chunks already. And this I have to do again, because there's not enough sticking there. So you're building it up like so. Well, and then the parts where I think we need more, I'm just gonna take my embossing ink, press it on, same here. Get my embossing powder out again. And we're going to build this up like that. Now it looks like nothing, I know. So, melting that. And pressing this on. So, how? That's hot. <laughs> Press that really into that embossing ink, and then I will continue with. Pulling it up from here. So just peeling this off. Just having a look. This is perfectly fine here. So, all that work and then you're gonna peel everything off again. But yes, that's what it is. I still think I need a bit more there. So, this is a process, it takes a while. Well, as long as you use cotton, real cotton wool, cotton uh, balls, then it's not an issue. You won't burn the place down. <laughs> use cotton. That is the main thing. Um, I'm just looking for my dabber. Because I want a bit more here. And then I think we're fine. Just putting some embossing ink there. And then we're going to... Uh, yeah, this is a heart shape. I saw that. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm going to cover it up. There we go. And then we're going to do something fun to it. Well, this was already fun, but a bit more fun. <laughs> 
Okay, and melt again, and then we're going to be done with it. There we go. Really press that in again. Bum, 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 bum. I'm loving this. Uh, it's new, it's an experiment, um, and I know it works because I've tried it, which is something I normally don't do, but in this case I had to, yeah, I really wanted to know whether it was gonna work before doing it live with you. I mean, if it was a video, I wouldn't care, but it's live. Uh, you guys are watching. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. And so, now, I'm just gonna peel off even more because it's cooled down now. And I'm gonna go over it like this, rubbing it, and that will give me some fun little stringy texture. So, nearly done. So this is the last prompt of the year that I'm doing for the December, for the year challenge, the journal with us, journal together, I can't remember what it was called now. Um, and we are working on the prompts for next year because I asked during a live, do you want prompts? But definitely, you can use this as snow, you can use it as scent as beer, you can do so many fun things with it. But in this case, I'm not done yet. And during the live, the response was, yes, we want the prompts. So we're working on getting those together for you guys. And then um, uh, we will launch them on the 1st of January in the Art Journal Specials group. So what I've got here are two sprays, the Distress Mica Spray in uh, Tarnished Brass and Lumber Plate Jack. So uh, I'm gonna shake this. This one doesn't have to be shaken. Um, so, I'm just going to spray that on, spritz that with some water, and spritz this on. Put some more red on there. There we go. So I'm going to let this soak in. Um, but what I'm also going to do is get my paper towel ready. This has blue on it. That's not good. And I'm going to pick up the color that's underneath. Nice red hands, right? No, Christmas, red and gold. <laughs> Look at that. So what you get, you get where the cotton wool is, that's gonna be dark red, then on the cardstock it's gonna be lighter red, and then you've got uh, the embossing powder that resists it. So you get the white bits. So I love this. So I'm just Picking that up, and you can see the shine from the mica. Can you see it? I can. The shine from the mica powders on there. So, yeah. And give that another spritz because there's some white bits there. There we go. Give this a little spritz, a bit more red on there. Spritz that with water again. and pick it up again. So, let me clean this, sort of. <laughs> um, so, this is the base of the page done. I love this. 
I really, 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 really love this. So I'm going to press this down one more time so that it's all nice and flat. There we go. That's the base of the page already done. Um, and I love, look at the state of my hands. I love this. Really cool. Can you see the texture on it? And it's soft when it's dry, it's going to be soft and fun. Okay, that is that part done. I'm not done by all means. Uh, let me get my stuff out. Because I've got all sorts of bits and bobs that I need to make and put on the page. So, butterflies don't have anything to do with Christmas. Well, I don't care. I like them. So, uh, I'm going to make them red and uh, gold. Mm, no, where's my gold? Here's my gold. And there's my red. Okay. Exactly. If you, you can do this with tape as well, but then you don't have the resist of the embossing powder, uh, which creates the white in there. So, the prompt uh, for December was embossing powder. So, that is uh, quite what I've done, right? So, I'm just dabbing on this butterfly randomly. And... I treated myself to a new gift, which is a clean coffee filter. Yay! And I'm just going to cover the, those with that red. Now, this is the lumberjack plate in the Distress embossing powders. These are um, translucent. So, that means once they're melted, they're not completely opaque. Um, which was the goal. So, these are butterflies from the Back in Time collection, by the way, if you were wondering. So, these go back. Uh, and I'm going to melt these. So, again, bear with me with the sound. Sorry, guys. Hi, Jennifer. So that's that. And now I'm going to do sort of, not completely, but sort of the same idea. Let me get a paper towel. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray these and I don't want to get my splatter box out. So I'm just going to make that, uh, Put that out of the way. I'm going to spray that with this mica stain again. So I bring back both of the colors, but I don't want them completely covered in embossing powder. And this will give them nice shine as well. So, and the embossing powder will resist. So, there we go. That will give it a nice and subtle shine. There we go. Take my other heat tool and dry that off. It's throwing things on the floor. Now I'm going to do my best to let this air dry as much as possible. 
because uh, otherwise I'm, I'm melting the embossing powder again and I don't want that in that case. This one I don't mind. Did you see the cool look you get? I will hold it close so you guys can see it. You see that? The cool look you get by doing it this way. I love this. And there's a nice shine from the mica. You see that? So, that's that. I'm going to leave these white because I want some white elements on there. Now, this is an element from my first collection. Um, I think it's... Ja, 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 ja. I don't know exactly which one of the sets this was in, but I just cut that in half. You see, it was like this. Cut it in half, and that's going to be on there with the butterflies. And then I've got the two baubles here that I'm also going to um, cover in red. So let's do that first. These baubles are for my Christmas collection. They feel like last year already, but it was that's because we uh, had Christmas in July. But it's fun to use them in Christmas time. So um, here's my thingy. Put them in here. So get my red out again. And I like Lumber Plate Jack because it's really a Christmas red. Yeah, that's going to be fun. While I've got it on my thingy, I will just heat this. And I will heat it from the back. Um, because then I won't blow away any of the... embossing powders and one thing I like about the distress embossing powders if you just do a single layer um, you get sort of a mottled not perfect effect and I like that that is uh, the same ink yeah it, this is uh, from the uh, dilutions um, Ranger has the same, it's an embossing ink dabber. Um, so very easy to use. Um, if you don't want to use the big pad, then this is the way to go. So, so it's a lot of embossing powder on this page, but that is when you get the prompt embossing powder, you use embossing powders, right? At least that's what I do. Now, let me see, because I want the tips to be gold. So I'm just going to dab that on. Dab that on, and then just dip that in the gold. And wipe off what we don't want. There, that's going to be fun. And we've got the gold topper. So that's that. That's that. 
and um, yeah, I'm not gonna. Am I gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna. I was debating whether to put a gold edge on. No, 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 Inga. Before the end of the year, we will not have any releases anymore. Then it will be 9th of January will be the new flower collection. And the rest we won't tell you. But no releases this year. We've had enough releases. I can tell you that my next release is... I'm expecting the final bits in tomorrow. And I'm going to start working on the packaging for that, which is always fun. Um, so that's going to be for tomorrow. Um, so yeah. So it'll be early next year, my new release. But not in January. So I'm just going to take a brush and brush off what I don't want. I don't want it to be in a straight, neat line. Uh, I do want the black from the bauble to show. So, just going to like that. That's one. That's two. I need a bit more here. Yep. Now it's too much, but I'd rather take off and don't have enough. There we go. That's it. Let me, I'm going to need that in a second, so I will just pick this up with my tweezers. These are Sizzix tweezers, and they have the rubber thingies on there, which means that you can hold it, and it's not getting wet. Hi, Ivor. Good to see you. Oh, I love this. So, that is that. Cool, right? Hi, Anamika. I'm loving these. Grungy looking baubles. Um, I want some hints of gold on my butterfly. So I'm just sprinkling it on there. I'm gonna dry that from the back. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. Didn't work. Ah, it's fine like that. What I do want to do is this dry enough? Nah. I'm just going to give it a go. I'm just going to sprinkle on some gold here and there. Just, and I'm concentrating it on the darkest red parts. Just so it's, yeah, having a bit of a gold sparkle there. And that's enough. We don't need more. Now I'm going to take this heat tool because this is the same temperature, but it spreads out wider. Um, but it doesn't blow that hard, so that it can actually uh, melt the embossing powder without blowing it away, which is always a good thing. So tomorrow I'm going to be live at Elizabeth Craft Designs, which is going to be a fun live as well. Um, I'm going to be working with watercolor. So that's going to be fun. Got some ideas in my head. Well, we'll see whether they will work, yes or no. Now, if you are at home, wait until everything is really dry when you do this, because then it will uh, work better. But I don't have time for that. 
um, because then we'll just sit here for another hour before this is all dry. But now it's already sticking. I can take my other heat tool and really melt that powder. See that? It sort of gives the idea of gold splatter on there. So I'm just now drying it from the back so we can actually build up the page. No, no prompts tomorrow. Yeah, I will do the prompts, but that will be a separate video in the morning, I hope. I still haven't filmed it, but... Uh, and in the evening will be something completely different. No prompts, nothing to do with that. Okay, that is done. Just has to cool down. But I love how this is looking. So unique and, and soft. Uh, I don't know how to say that in English, but Eibar, it's in Dutch. Uh, well, I'm, I'm in my craft room and designing. Um, so I'm, I'm also behind my computer, but uh, yeah, I'm spending more time in the craft room, definitely. Um, it's just nice to be able to, well, like test out these kind of things uh, instead of just diving in and hoping for the best. Now I've tested it out and I know it works before we start, which is also fun. I love this. I love this. Right. Um, I'm going to build up the page first. I'm going to fold it in half, which is going to be a bit, bit, bit harder because of all the embossing powders that are on there. But doable. Really folding that in half. Yeah, strokeable. No, that sounds weird, but it's really soft and you can really uh, touch it. It's, it's fun to touch. It's different. Um, well, if I count designing in, it's eight hours a day. <laughs> right. Now, this is going to go on there. Something stuck in there. There we go. Let's let me fuff around a bit with where I want to place some things because he's going to go right there, and my other friend is going to go down here. Oh, I love this already. And then I've got one bauble coming down here, and the other bauble is going to go right there and this is in total going to go higher I think yes so that's going to be my composition where am I going to put this one then that's going to be right here at the top okay that's going to be the plan that's the plan Stan now I had this but it's not the right red Bear with me. I need to find something else, which is hidden down here. And I think I'm going to use black and gold. Huggable as well. Well, you can pet a ball. Uh, you can hug it if you want. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> but it's a fun technique. That's the main thing. Uh, so I'm going to take a piece of tape, just a small piece, 
two small pieces actually and I'm going to stick this to the back nobody's gonna see the back if you do it correctly David there we go so there's a string and this is too big that's the second string that's gonna go there and then um, first things first I'm going to pull this through here and to the back again Come on, you can do it. There we go. I hate this stuff. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That's going to be there. So I need to put this there. Okay. Then I've got my Kids Choice glue because, well, there's a lot of texture on here. So I want that to adhere well. And this stuff will help. I'm just going to tap that on the back of this. Okay. And put that on here like so. Press that down. Next I'm going to put a blob of blue glue behind my bauble like so and press that down so now it looks like it's hanging from that how do you call that trellis there we go and next my butterfly is going to be covering up there oh I like that cool okay sort of going to repeat that here and in the end I think I'm just gonna glue it all together not threading it through because well what does it add to it not much it'll be stuck down this way anyway like so and put some glue behind him and press that down okay coming together nicely hi Stephanie so that is that where's my oh here it is I want a little scissor for this one to snip it off. There we go. So my baubles are hanging. My butterfly is on there. Now I need to put this guy on there. Uh, I will put him a bit higher. It's confusing. Sometimes we're live on Facebook. Sometimes we're live on YouTube. When I'm live on my own channel, it's when it's always on Thursday evening on YouTube <laughs> and I'm going to put him there and then this is December and that's gonna go yeah I'm gonna put that there at the top This is one of the little labels that comes with the ATC set, and I'm loving these. So I just thought, oh well, use it. I love this. Right. 
now I've got to find my frayed burlap. I think Dober is this frayed burlap? Could well be. Because I do want to go around the edge with frayed burlap. Just because I like that. But I couldn't, uh, Fred Burlap is feeling a bit left out at the moment because I'm using different colors in the December journal, so. But this is such a fun technique. Stay there. I'm used to art glitter glue being dry instantly. There we go. Oh, I love this. Such a fun technique. And yeah, a completely different effect than the one that I tried before, which I also still love, and I'm definitely gonna use it. I'm not gonna throw this away. Um, but yeah, for Christmas with the gold, I like the red. Or for Halloween, as you mentioned, I think it was Inge who said, uh, Halloween. <laughs> Could well be Halloween as well. So let me get this into the journal. Now how I'm doing that is as followed. I need to get the journal out. Or this signature out, I should say. Thank you, Sandra. This is the year prompts. Uh, so this is uh, the December prompt. And that is, uh, I've got it. The December prompt is um, embossing powder. So yeah, in between all the prompts, which I'm making in here and it's already getting really bulky. So I'm really curious with another 15 days, is it gonna fit? But hey, I'll make it fit. So that's the December uh, to remember which is a different uh, journal, different challenge than the year challenge. And the year challenge uh, was the last one. The last prompt was uh, embossing powder. And that's what we've got here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this onto the other page. Come on. I'm using our uh, barely art glue because that gives me some wiggle time because, well, I can't stick straight. <laughs> so that's on there, make sure it's straight. Yes, it is. Line these corners up, it's, it's very easy, but yeah. If it sticks, it's easy. <laughs> it will stick, it just takes a second to adhere. Well, I, <laughs> I didn't get to that in time uh, yet, but it's done now and it's done in time. So uh, I'm ready for the next year prompts. This is how it should be. Okay. And I will now put this signature back in and that completes my journal for the year. I like a bulky uh, journal. Look at that. Nice and full. 12 months of the year. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this. I will definitely um, uh, do a flick through video when I launch the prompts for next year. Uh, we're still working on that, finalizing the final bits. Um, but yeah, it's uh, going to be fun again next year. Um, I'm just crunching this up because I don't like that. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So yeah, this is it. This was it for today, guys. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, give this video a thumbs up. 
It really helps the algorithm for other people to find me. Uh, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, the notification bell, because then you won't miss any of my videos. Uh, so if you have to search for me every time, ring that bell. That will help you, definitely. So thank you for joining me tonight. I love how this turned out and uh, I hope you did too. Thank you for joining me. Let me switch to the camera. There we go. And looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow, I hope, at Elizabeth Craft Designs, 8 o'clock, 12, uh, 12, so 12 p.m. Mountain Time. See you tomorrow. And if not, I'll see you one of the... Ooh, I'm knocking everything down today. Uh, I'll, see you. I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you one of the other videos. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening or day or morning, wherever you are. Thank you. Bye.